Hi guys, this is Tammy. Amanda from our Beginner Silhouette Cameo Facebook group had posted this image earlier. She was having some difficulty cutting it. Somehow the compound path on the image has gotten released and we need to add those back. I can tell the compound path had been released because this area in the L and the area in the Y as well as the areas in the F, the blockings in the blessing, um, the areas the A, the E, the G have not been hollowed out like they should. So we're going to take care of that. The first thing we're going to do is select on the image. Immediately by selecting on it, I can tell that it has been grouped. So I'm going to right click and select ungroup. And that's going to release all of the groupings. Okay. Now I'm going to select on this. One of the other issues we're going to have is Amanda's going to want to use registration marks to line everything up. Um, this is a method you would use when you're layering vinyl. So she's going to need to cut this square and this square with each color. She's going to need those for when she cuts the family blessing and she's going to need it for when she cuts is life's greatest. So we might want to make those a different color so she can select those as well. Because right now it's going to cut with the blue. Um, if she selects cutting by color, then those are only going to cut with the blue. So we might want to change that. So I'm going to right click on that area and I'm going to release the compound path. That's going to release the two squares from the blue so that we can make those a different color. So let's select on the blue, hold down my shift button, my shift key, and I'm going to select the other blue. Now I'm going to go to the fill option, this bucket right here, select on that, and I'm just going to make that a random different color. And you can, after that, you can choose to make it a group. Now this is going to group those together. So these are always going to move around. You click on it, it's going to show as like one image grouped together. So you can move it wherever you need to. But we want it back where she had it. So we're going to do the unbut undo button right here, the arrow, undo, my favorite my favorite button. And then we're going to select the family blessing so that we can group it. So if you come down here to select by color, down on the left bottom of your software, there's a toolbar. The fifth one is select by color. This will give you the option to select by line color, which the line colors are red, or by fill color. And we want the fill color. We're going to select everything that is in blue. And now we need to select everything that was behind that got released, all the parts of the image, the little part in the L or the L, I'm sorry. Yeah, the little part in the L, the S and all that stuff. So hit your undo, hold on your shift button and you're going to move your cursor over and select that part of the L. You're going to bring it down, select the parts of the Y, the loops in the F, and then the blockings in the B, E, S. And then you can release, release your shift button. And now you're going to right click and make it a compound path. So now family blessing is one image, it's one path, and everything that you needed to, um, to hollow out the L, the Y, inside the swishes of the F, the blocks and the blessing are all selected and it's made into a readable image. Now we're going to undo that to move it back where it was. Now we need to do the same thing for Is Life's Greatest. So click on Select by Color, and then we're going to do the same thing. Hold down your Shift button and move your cursor over to select the part in the E and the bottom part of the G and then release your left mouse button and your shift key. Now you, if you click on it, you can tell if you grabbed it all, which I did. So move it back to where it was, right click and make compound path. Now when she goes to cut it and she hits the cut icon, everything is going to cut the way it was supposed to. And if she has the designer edition, she can go to advanced setting. She can do by fill color and uncheck what she's not ready to cut. So if she's going to cut the blue first, she's going to uncheck the peachy pink color 
and it's going to cut everything that is in this teal color and everything that is in blue. And then when she goes to cut her second layer, she's going to click on the pink, uncheck the blue, and it is just going to cut the aqua color of the registration marks and then the pink portion of Is Life's Greatest with the ornate design down at the bottom. So I hope this made sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Please feel free to message me or post something and tag me on Facebook um, and I'll try to answer it. I hope this helps. Thanks.